Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again on the platform that tells you the undiluted bitter truth. And until Nigeria happens to you, you will not understand the message we are preaching that Nigerians are victims of Nigeria. I came across a video where Tidibu was um, uh, announcing honoring the slain soldiers in Delta State, giving them houses and the rest of them to the families. Take a look. It is with every heart that I join you today to commend to us the remains of our officers and men who died in the course of duty on 14th of March this year, 2024, in Okwema community in Delta State. The officers and soldiers who lost their lives that day were patriots, brave, and noble men who gave their lives to defend and protect our nation against internal and external threats. Their sacrifice will be remembered and honored for generations to come. Ali kept faith with his military calling till the end on behalf of a grateful nation. We honor the sacrifice of Ali and the other gallant patriots who died that day. They will forever be remembered as heroes who answer the call of duty and paid the ultimate price. Major D.E.O.B., Major S.D. Ashafa, Captain U. Sakari, Staff Sergeant Yaya Seidu, Corporal Dambaba Yaya, Corporal Kabiba Shu, Last Copra Abdullah Ibrahim, Last Copra Bulus Aruna, Last Copra so Sole Opayemi, Last Copra Belo Anas, Alaji, Private Alaji Isa, Private Clement Francis, Private Abubakar Ali, Private Adamu Ibrahim. Private Haman Peter and Private Ibrahim Adamu. You are all our heroes. Each man now belongs to the hallowed list of service men and women who defended our country and protected their fellow Nigerians, not minding the risk to their own lives. They have all been awarded now. A posthumous national honor. The four gallant officers have been accorded the award of members of the Order of Niger, M-O-N. <laughs> the 13 courageous soldiers who also lost their lives have been awarded the Officers of the Federal Republic Medal. It is now our duty to protect the families of our departed heroes. The federal government will provide housing in any part of our country to each of the families of the four officers and 13 soldiers that were among them. 
the federal government has also approved scholarship to all children of the disease up to university level. including those who are in the womb. Dimitri, we appeal to you to within the next 90 days to ensure that all benefits of departed are paid to their families. <laughs> this is what I call medicine after death. Do you know how many men in uniform that are deprived of their benefit? Do they even have insurance? Do their wages, their salaries take them home or being able to take care of their families? Do they have life insurance at all? What is the um, hope of any of the family members? of some of these officers in uniform, whether police, in the military, paramilitary, and the rest of them. It is nothing to write home about. If you think I'm making things up, they are calling me from different places. Listen to this conversation in one of the calls. You know when anything happens to us, uh, what is it happening to us, if not? You know? I'm with you. If not, if not, if rank and fire, anything happens to them, they consider it as if it doesn't mean anything to them. Oh. So our morale is totally low. And police work, personally, is supposed to be a job that we are well educated. Because if you are not educated, how will you know the law? How will you enforce the law? So it's only when you're educated, it's only when you know the law, before you can be able to read and know the law. Because the laws are being amended always. So we need to read, we need to know the law very well. But Going to school is not like wasting your money, not even recognize. It's not like going to school. It's not like, it's not like a job that is made for scouts. Yeah. So, I'm not about half half scouts, I'm not about half PA, I'm not about half scouts. But, if, but other people say they don't take they don't those stories, but they go to school, they come back, they place them where they belong to. It, both, it makes them work where and both them are. But we, it's not like that. Eh? Yeah. And it's a police work, personally, it's a job that requires intelligence. That is, that's why you discover that today, now, you see so many police officers, they do anything on the way. Because you don't finish from SSE, doing police work, some of them say, we're not even doing work, they can't even read and write. So they don't believe and say, after all, those who go to school, like we, when we go to school, they are laughing at us. I will recruit them with a uh, BSC. But those of us who go to school, they say, see, we lost two kids. Where, 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 where did they take it to? So it's a lot of people, where did they take it to? They will be laughing at us, and we go to school. So we see education to Nigeria for institutions, and that is why you see many cases of human rights violation because you don't know the law, you don't even mm. know the letter. So how will you enforce the law? So that's exactly why um, the police officers, many of them, are, are really be, are, are actually the problem in the system yes. because they don't know yes. their left and right. They don't know how. If I just like recruiting bunch of untrained thugs. Yes. So. When you are educated, you feel your mentality will be different. Mm -hmm. when you are, uh, but, but for years, since we are being slain, we don't, it, we, need, we need people who, because we can protest, we can talk, we need people who will help us. I mean, like, now, the killing of police in Delta State, I think consider nobody talk about it. But when social media begin to talk about it, now mm -hmm. they want to honor them. Now they mm -hmm. want to honor them. Mm -hmm. Because social media begin to make them, they want to honor them. That is what is happening. That is what is actually happening. It's actually we are, we are just like chicken. Any time that anybody wants to speak, we don't go picking of us, key, nobody asks. And and and, and what of their benefits, their 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 bonuses, their afterlife insurance, and the rest of them? Are they not properly uh, like you guys? Are you guys not um, under dear, life insurance one, and all that? That one is nothing to write home about. Nothing in there. Even the pay, even the pension. The these people are trying to live. Uh, I would say. The contributing patient that we are struggling to live. The IG, because IG, from AIG, DIG, they have been exonerated from the contributing patient. From CP down, we are contributing. So IG doesn't care about it. And we have this army have left, DSS and left, other agents have left, but we are still a contributing patient. We are, it's obviously a DIG, you see, at ASP, we'll retire, in fact, we'll work for a 5 million naira. 
Why they give million in Nigeria and they say with 80, 50 million error? And the of uh, the ASP will retire, they are paying him pension. Even the CP, CP, they will be paying CP pension, 50,000 error. If that's 50,000 error. But these are the things that affect our moral. Even, to even go to work, some of us find it difficult to go to work because <laughs> this, this <laughs> work will not guarantee. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's why they are, they are not just doing that work as savvy. They are doing it just for survival and you're on your own. If anything happens to you, you're on your own. What happens you're to your, your children? What happens to your family? And somebody will say, oh, our heroes fall. How can they become your hero? Now I understand so where then, the problem is and why... So we, so we want the social media to take this higher because we cannot talk. Even as I called you, if you discover that I call you, my dad will take it upon me. That's the question. So it just is there. Just let me just conceive you. So you make it sick. Just as if nobody call you, make it sick. Just as if I don't you even know, outside. as I'm talking to you, I'm going to publicize it. Because I don't even know you, because you are not the only one bringing complaints from different quarters and bringing information, not to um, uh, victimize anybody, but to address institutional failure. The canker water mm -hmm. has eaten deep, and everybody has been a victim. Nigerians are victims of what you're just saying. So we must, um, I don't have to do my own. Now that you told me this, like so many of you, you can't say anything, military, DSS, the police, all of you guys, they call me. Speak for us. Yes, that is what I will do. I will speak and I hope that the general public will take it up and escalate it because until things become embarrassing for them on the social media, they don't do anything. You heard it. This is why insecurity will continue to go up. This is why men in uniform will continue to act corrupt because they are desperate to survive because government is not taking care of them how do you expect such people to serve you with all their might and putting their lives on the line they will not because they know what nigeria is until the whole system is overhauled until men in uniform in nigeria start taking more um Take homes, let me just put it that way. Their bonuses, their salaries, if their own is not much more than the politicians, then write it out. They will continue to be a menace in the society. I don't want to go to the point of telling you that many of them have maimed Nigerians. When they act on the road, you wonder if they are animals or humans. It is because Nigeria is happening to them. And this one is announcing, doing window dressing. Believe this nonsense at your own peril. They know because they, it, it, it became a scandal how soldiers were slain in Delta State. Now they are trying to do window dressing. What about those that have died before them? What about those who are not accounted for? The other time I had that some bodies of police officers were recovered in one of the states in the southeast. I think in Imo State. Nobody's talking about it. Many of them are dying on daily basis in the north, being massacred because of the corruption in the system. Not because they cannot fight, but because of corruption and impunity in the system. So let me just put it out here and to voice it to the hearing of Nigerians. If you wait until Nigeria happened to you, <laughs> you may not live to tell the story. That is why GGM will continue hitting it hard. That the irreducible minimum that can liberate Nigerians from the from the shackles of bad governance, wicked politicians, and men without honor riding in the power or corridors of power. Until we have you change your mentality and your attitude towards elections and governance. Nothing will ever happen. We'll continue being victims. And Nigeria, at one point or the other, will happen to every one of you. What's your take on this? Drop it on the comment section. Share it. Because every one of us is being affected. Bye-bye for now.